cow, look at this. That's a big pike, I think. I think it is too, unless it's multiple fish. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Two pound test, heard that's good. Holy cow, I've been waiting for this moment forever. Go time, baby. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to NV Edits. Now, last time you guys saw me was approximately six days ago, and I was saying how excited I am to be here and how I can't wait for ice fishing. Well, as you can tell, <laughs> Nick as and I, tell. <laughs> we're standing on ice right now, boys. So, we'll go ahead and turn it over to Nick here. Well, Ooh, guys, we're Brandon filmed a video last Tuesday and yes it was on this lake and this lake was not quite ready um, it had about an inch maybe an inch and a quarter and then we got a warm spell and brutal winds it's still windy out but last couple days it has gotten extremely cold up here and this lake is completely locked now what we're standing on right now is kind of like an ice belt like this area right here that we're standing on probably has a good solid three inches um, and then that stuff we're still gonna have to figure out what the heck it actually is judging on how clear it is it's probably going to be thinner obviously but it is going to be the strongest so if we're looking at anything from like two to two and a half inches we know we're going to be safe and solid and guys i we've been waiting for this moment for so long and this weekend killed us one because the packers lost i'm sure you guys all saw that on sunday we were at the game great game but you know the Vikings, yeah, whatever. We're done talking about that. But yeah, so we've been seeing some people ice fishing in Minnesota and it was making us really jealous. We couldn't wait to get back here, but we're here, we're ready. We got all of our stuff. We just gotta make sure a little of this is safe so we can walk out to our spots and we're gonna start clapping some crappies. All right, so like Nick was saying, we've got all of our stuff with us. Nick's gonna go ahead of me because he's a little bit lighter. We wanna try and be as safe as we can. We're not extremely worried um is this dangerous yes of course you got to be careful when you're getting out there apologize for the wind today it's really windy up here hopefully it's not too brutal we're gonna go ahead grab our stuff i'm gonna let nick start chiseling out some holes ahead of me make sure this is safe and like nick said let's go get on some fish Wow. Let me chisel a hole here for you guys. Show you what we're working with. Oh, I should have brought the auger. Woo. All right. Oh, God. That's probably three and a half inches or so. Maybe four. I don't know. But then again, that's on the cloudy stuff. I just scared every fish in the lake away with that. But uh, yeah, they've made it to our spot, safe and sound. We just kind of followed the ice ridge out and the clear stuff is safe. We're just gonna obviously be on the thicker stuff, but now that I got the hole drilled, we might as well see if there's some fish, huh? So real quick, let me go get some, show you guys, and we'll start the fishing. So this year, 2021, 2022 season, Obviously last year I bought LiveScope. This year we're also gonna be using LiveScope again, um, but I had it on a different shuttle last year. This year, we are really pleased and uh, happy to be working with a company called Tactic Grip Fishing. They're a brand new company, and they were so kind enough to send me this beautiful, 
beautiful shuttle that they make. And obviously you can see that I have my Garmin Live Scope right on the front here. If I take this off, if I can, you can see it's nice. Got this nice solid handle. Got the pole, obviously, for uh, putting it on there so you can see the fish. Got this nice, got my transducer for live scope. Got it nicely wrapped right on the side. I love that. You can tell all these wires that come with the live scope are pretty much put away for the most part. And they are pretty much non-existent. So the unit itself looks really, really clean and organized. Got the black box on the back here. I got my Amped Outdoors battery in here, tightly sealed so that way no water, no snow, any of that gets in there. You got uh, power, obviously. Power on, power on my Garmin. You got an LED light, which you probably can't see because it's light out, but LED bar in the front. I've got, get this out, camera mount off the side of this, so filming the live scope screen or just facing it towards me and filming me it's right on the shuttle ready to go ready to use when the pole is not in these you can obviously put reels and rods in here which is super nice that way you're not carrying you know because this unit itself is very heavy so the less you have to carry the better and uh yeah that is the shuttle really really excited to fish with it and use it this year it's going to be a game changer for sure if you guys want to check out Tactic Grip Fishing, please go down to the description, check them out. Uh, like I said, they're a brand new company, so showing them support will be the biggest thing. Even if you don't buy a unit, uh, you know, go to their Facebook, give them a like, give them a comment, say NB Edit sent you. Do whatever you got to do. Just show them some love because uh, we really do appreciate the product and uh, using it this year. So now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to actually get the transducer on, get it down there. And we're going to locate these crappies and see if we can get a few topside. Probably should have gone with a smaller hole to begin because that's kind of scary. Luckily this is on a cord. Alright, so, oh well you can see this but I've got the live scope down there right now. And it looks like right under us, right here. There is a fish. He's kind of swimming away from us right now. There he is. Oh, look at them all. Look at them all, Brandon. Holy cow. These are all probably crappies down there right now. All right. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, usually we don't even have to use live scope on this lake because there's really only one area that they actually go. But uh, it is a helpful tool for sure. I'm going to switch it into down mode here. And I'm gonna go get some rods, get some jigs, get some plastics, show you what we're gonna be using for that. And then I promise, now, now that we've located them, we've made it out on the ice, we're gonna catch a fish. So what happened here? Well, what was happening was I caught a crappie. <laughs> okay. um, I was gonna grab this, I got my rod and everything ready, and I was like, well, there's no fish in this wall, might as well drop, oh, there's a big mark under me right now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Two nice marks. Oh yeah. Look at the size of that mark. It's, oh, coming, it's coming right in. for you. Coming crappie. right for you. Another crappie. Mm. Nice crappie. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. Not a giant, that? actually. But he was acting like one. Look at that. Nothing big so far, but guys, we're out here <laughs> catching crappies. Now, what I'm using here. God, I, I want to tell you guys what I'm using. Trust me, I really do. Hold up. Let me catch one more fish here. <laughs> when you're on top of a school of crappie, you guys know you have to keep them occupied, otherwise they will leave. There's two down there right now. Two on the right of you. Yeah, he was there. Oh, oh yep. Yep, here, yep here he comes. He's going to slam it. Three, two, one. I was thinking about a little one. harder than the other ones were. Come on. Oh, skirted. Oh. He's still there. Yeah, they're both right below you. Look at that, you guys. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, what is that thing on the bottom? bottom? Oh, oh, that's a nice pike or something. Wow, look at that coming across the bottom like that. Let's see if I can get his attention. Just snap off right away. I think we're running two pound line. Oh. Holy cow, look at this. That's a big pike, I think. I think it is too, unless it's multiple fish. 
Whoa. 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 Do you want to get my transducer out of there, please? Yeah. Oh, man. No, it's one fish for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. That's going to be a pike for sure. Two pound test. Two pound test. Heard that's good. Holy cow, I've been waiting for this moment forever. <laughs> Holy crap. It's probably not that big of a pike, but you know, the fact I'm using an ultralight rod here. <laughs> Two pound oh. test. Woo. Fish are all sorts of fired up. They probably haven't seen any activity for about a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's a pike. Yeah, you yeah. saw him? Maybe he's mid 20s or so. That should be fun. Trying to land him. No wonder the crappie started to go away a little bit. No, oh, he's, oh. oh. <laughs> he's right in the beak, so. Oh, oh. Come on out of there. Here he comes. Oh, got him. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's that. go, baby. Right in the tip. All right, I will talk about it now because the crappies are probably gone. So what I'm using here is a four millimeter tungsten jig from Frostbite. And then I'm using a Frostbite plastic. I'm pretty sure this is called the Dragonfly rod. I'm using their new series. Uh, this is the Frostbite Panta Stick. This is a 29 inch ultralight. Great for pan fishing. Uh, I would say great for pike, but probably not. Um, I would have lost that fish if it wasn't in his snout right here in the top, but not a decent, yeah, you know, not a bad pike. Probably 25, 20, yeah, 25, 26. 26. I mean, definitely fun. That was definitely fun. Two crappies and then a nice pike. Woo, don't get me wet. The first kiss goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, I've been waiting for this for so freaking long. We've been just like, non-stop watching the weather i mean when you try to get out as early as what we do you have to one you have to do a lot of scouting to find lakes that are going to be frozen um and it's, there's a whole bunch of factors that go involved into that uh definitely shallow lakes are going to freeze first but yeah it, it takes a lot of effort i mean i watch the weather probably 10 times a day i mean i am looking at the far future i'm looking at the night i'm looking at the wind i'm looking at precipitation and yeah we try to just nail it right obviously we haven't checked this lake in three days but we figured today was the day and it obviously was so yeah fish are biting i'm happy brandon hasn't done anything besides film me which is fine but uh i'm i'm pretty sure he wants to get a line on the water here so what we're gonna do he's gonna get a camera i'm going to uh set mine up on the tripod and we're just gonna for the rest of the video start clapping fish all right well we're gonna see if i know how to ice fish now See if I remember what I'm doing. Same plastics as what Nick was using. Frostbite, dragonfly. There we go, first fish. Just a little guy. Little tiny crappie. First fish of the year, just a little guy. Oh, that's a better one, I think. Yep. Oh, nice bluegill. That's why they were getting so stubborn. Because there were a couple bluegills down there. Nice big bluegill. Probably eight inches, I would say. That is freaking awesome. There we go. Oh, Nick's hooked up. Whew. Not big. I, I'm calling everything big, apparently, right now. Because I don't know what the heck ice fishing is, apparently. But probably like a seven, eight, nine incher. Kind of the average on this lake but there are some giants we have caught multiple over 14 here and they usually show themselves well usually around this time early morning and the night bite is really big on this lake so hoping one shows itself real quick here Woo! they are all sorts of fired up we're gonna try to just keep on catching them here quick before the school leaves There we go. This one's better if it's a crappie. Ugh, it's a bluegill. Oh yeah. Yeah, big bluegill. Look at that guys. That's probably a nice uh, nine, nine and a half, maybe 10. That's a nice bluegill for sure. 
I'm gonna put this one to the side, not to keep, but we are gonna take a thumbnail with it, some pictures. This one, uh, this one came up and slapped it. Let's see what's shaking and baking down below the ice, shall we? Go ahead and drop this down there. Looks like there is a fish on bottom. I don't know if he's gonna come out to play. Oh, this one is, check this out. Three, two, one. There we go, just like that. It's like clockwork. Nice crappie. There we go. That's called ice fishing in northern Wisconsin, folks. That's how we like it right there. A few days before Thanksgiving, we're out here ripping lips. Decent little crappie, probably about eight or nine inches or so. Nothing huge so far. Here we go. I think we got some crappies finally coming in. That's kind of like what I was thinking. Before. Got a big old fish, maybe another pike or something, or a big crappie. Really, really big fish, big fish. Two of them. Come on. Oh, he's looking at it. He's coming. There we go. What do we got here? Please be a big crappie. Oh, God. Giant, Brandon. Giant. Oh. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That is a giant. I could see that thing coming out of the ice in here. That might be 15. Oh, giant. Giant. Oh, I hope you guys can see this. Oh, that's a behemoth. And there was a couple like that. I could see them kind of lurking on the side here. Uh, that is, whew. I'm gonna have to have Brandon probably get the camera for this one, but there's a couple nicer ones. I'm going to uh, put them in a hole here quick and uh, I'm gonna try to catch these other fish here quick. That is the fish we were waiting for. Like I said, you gotta sort through the small ones and usually the bigger ones like to come out right before dark. As you can tell, the sun's already past the trees here. But uh, yeah, had a couple smaller ones that weren't really doing anything, which were probably bluegills. And then just these giant marks. I mean, that's the nice thing about live scope is you can tell the difference in marks. And usually if they're right under it and you have it fine tuned enough, you can actually make out what the heck the fish is. Like that pike that came through earlier, we could tell it was a pike. You could see the fins and everything clear as day on the live scope. I mean, the technology is just absurd how good it is. These fish look like they, uh, kind of scattered i took some time to show you guys that fish and whatnot and we do have one of these like net things that you put in the hole and it goes down in so these fish aren't just topside dying right now we have them in a hole we're going to take some nice pictures and stuff for our instagram which if you guys are not following we are posting a ton on that and uh, doing a bunch of stories and it's a great way to reach out and just talk to us uh youtube you know it's not really great you just got the comment section facebook yeah we're here and there on it but instagram nb.edits, follow it, talk to us on it, ask us questions, all that good stuff. Uh, it'll also be linked down to below, but yeah, those fish seem like they're gone, but it's prime time. Right freaking now, I'm going to reel back up here. I'm actually gonna go get some of the fish that uh, we've caught so far and have in there just to show you guys now that we actually have somebody holding the camera. So let's go do that quick. Alrighty, so this is what I was talking about. As you can see, we've got the foam padding here and uh, that's supposed to, so the fish don't pull it down. And then obviously it's just got this netting that goes down in the water. We've never really used it. I don't even know the name of the brand that makes this or anything, but it's pretty helpful, especially for, you know, if you were keeping fish or if you just wanted to keep fish alive for a picture like what we do. Let me get this guy out of here. It's kind of hard to turn him. He's a little, a little chunky guy. A little big for the bag. Yeah, we don't have a tape measure, go figure. We never do. Uh, the only time we ever actually do is when we're walleye fishing, but <sighs> look at this. Oh my God. Look at this freaking dude. slab. That is a freaking giant. That's probably a good, if I had to guess, I'd say it was a good 14 and a half. But honestly, that might be 15, might be 15 inches. You can dude, tell he's just a freaking built. dinner plate. Two pound test, testing out the new frostbite rods. This is absolutely awesome. First adventure out on the early ice and it really couldn't have gone any better. I would have liked a couple more. Now, honestly, if I would have released this fish right away and got back down, I could have maybe caught a few other studs that were in that school swimming around, but that is very, very nice fish. Get a release on this guy. Definitely uh, love to keep the big ones back into the lake because oh we're not gosh. gonna be, we're not gonna be eating them. And that's a freaking Mondo dude. There he goes. Whew. All right, let's check out these bluegills. Brandon oh. caught one. I caught one. Not sure which is either, but 
This must be yours? Was yours darker? Yeah, I think mine was a female like that. Nice, probably eight and a half, nine inch bluegill. Yeah. Definitely nice. And then we got one more in here. Looks to be about the same size. Hands are absolutely freezing right now. Another, whew, don't want to drop them in that hole. Another probably nice eight and a half, nine inch bluegill. They're pretty much cookie cutter. Maybe a little smaller, but hey, we thought we'd keep them. We don't really catch that many bluegills out of this lake, so thought it was kind of cool. Get some pictures with those as well. As you can tell, it's getting pretty dark here. And uh, we do have one more special surprise, but we will be showing you guys that at the end of the video. Uh, it means a lot, it's very important. It's a project we've been working on for a while. So not sure how much more ice fishing you're gonna see here. We're probably gonna pick up the camera if we catch another giant or get into a big school, but make sure, stay tuned till the end. You're not gonna wanna miss the surprise. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can catch some more fish here quick. Alrighty guys, well, we're back at the truck. It was a long day, but it was a fun day. We are so excited to be back on the grind. You guys have no idea how much this means to us to have you guys here and be a part of it. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. Last week, we were close. We finally found safe ice. We got out there, we got the job done. Had a ton of fun, so huge shout out to Frostbite for sending us some awesome rods, and you guys can try them too. They're actually running a Black Friday sale right now. We've got rods that are about 10% off, and I believe they've got free shipping on all orders that are about $100 or more. So I would definitely go check it out. We did tell you guys that we have one more surprise for you. Don't mind me while I just undress for you here, but we've got merch, baby. It's been a long time. We've been talking about doing this for the last two years, and we finally got it. This is a custom original hoodie with the little NB Edits logo on there. Nick actually came up with this. It's something that we've wanted to do for a long time, and we've got much, much more than just this. We've got multiple designs. I'm gonna go ahead, show them up on the screen right now for you guys. We've got t-shirts, long sleeves, crew necks, and hoodies available in all of our designs. Go ahead, check them out on nbedits.com right now. We're glad to have you guys along. So happy for early ice. It's the first ice fishing video, many more to come. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give this video a big old fat thumbs up for us. We'd really, really appreciate that. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you like seeing 15 inch crappies come topside because we're not gonna stop anytime soon. Early ice is here and it's not going away. So stay tuned for more Tight Lines from NBS.